Hi, and welcome to another episode of 3 Minute Histology with Dr. Jamie Chapman. Today, we're going to continue our look at the liver, the histology of the liver. Um, so last time we had a look at the overview structure and the idea of the dual blood supply. So in this video, we're going to have a look at a little bit more finer detail about the liver parenchyma. Um, that's the main functional part of the liver. So let's start our three minutes. So you remember that the liver is divided into these structures called lobules, and the lobules are defined by the connective tissue stroma. So that's what's outlined in these regions here. So we can see multiple lobules uh, within the liver. Now the idea is that the blood supply coming from the uh, portal vein, hepatic portal vein, which is carrying uh, oxygen depleted but nutrient rich blood, and then also the hepatic artery, which is bringing oxygen rich blood, uh, are found within the connective tissue stroma and then they are processed, that, that blood is processed by the main functional parts of these lobules which is known as the parenchyma. And within the parenchyma we find the major cell type which is the hepatocytes. And the hepatocytes are these uh, cells here with the big round pale staining nuclei um, with the prominent nucleolus. You can see multiple nucleoli often uh, with these cells. And they're usually described as sort of being uh, cuboidal, roughly cuboidal or roughly spherical in shape. Now the blood supply, which we find out in the stroma, begins out here and then it percolates through these blood vessels which we find within the parenchyma. These are sinusoids, liver sinusoids. And so lining these sinusoids, we find these flattened, uh, darker staining um, nuclei which are the endothelial cells, so the sinusoidal endothelial cells. So the blood travels through these and then eventually coalesces in the center towards what's known as the central vein. You can see the endothelial cells lining that here. And then the central vein eventually drains to the hepatic vein which then gets returned to the uh, main blood supply. So you can see the sort of channel um, coming down this way. So the hepatocytes are the major cell type and they process the blood, get um, adapt the nutrients, they get rid of toxins and they also add plasma proteins to the blood as well. So they have sort of both an endocrine and an exocrine function in that way. The other cell type which we find uh, within this region are these sort of more rounded nuclei and these are the Kupfer cells. These are resident macrophages of the liver and they're there to basically gobble up anything that shouldn't be there. Microorganisms, um, aged red blood cells which they can gobble up and, and get rid of in case your spleen's not working um, properly for example. There is another cell type. These are much more difficult to visualize and identify uh, under normal histological circumstances. And these are known as cells of ito or hepatic stellate cells. And these are cells which are thought to be responsible for the production of vitamin A and also uh, are reactive cells during some of the pathologies of the liver, particularly related to uh, fibrosis of the liver. So those are the major cellular features of the hepatic parenchyma and I hope you uh, found that useful.